guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in thank you for coming by today i'm showing you how i stretch my hair using african threading when i don't use heat i use african threading to stretch my hair i want to trim some ends some split ends on my hair and i decided to stretch it first but i don't want to use heat because i've been using heat quite a lot of times of late so i wanted to give it a break and kind of use african threading to stretch my hair and i thought i'd show you how i do that and remember don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video if you enjoy it and if you want to be part of this channel make sure that you hit that notification button so that every time that i post or every time that i upload something you are notified in your inbox so i've just washed my hair it's not completely dry when i wash my hair i normally um put it into these twists or braids when I'm still in the shower. I haven't, I haven't uh, moisturized this here. I'm using Nash Organics Leave-In Conditioner to condition my hair and also to detangle my hair. So I'll just, I just part my, so I just part my hair using my fingers because I don't normally like running a comb when my hair is not detangled because oh, that's painful, it's unnecessary pain. And then I will just finger detangle quickly and then go in with a detangling brush. This brush is amazing you guys, but really a white tooth comb at this stage, I don't think it does as good a job as a detangling brush. My hair is dried out a bit in the front so I'm just adding more water there and some leave-in conditioner. Then I'll finger detangle quickly and then go in with a detangling brush. So that's basically what I'm doing the whole head. All four sections, I've just divided my hair into four sections. So all four sections are going to be conditioned, finger detangled and then brushed to make sure that my hair is as stretched as possible. That's the only way that I get um, better results when I detangle my hair using when I detangle my hair and then I brush it to make sure that it is actually straight so I'm just parting my hair again into four sections and these are the sections that I'm going to uh, thread that I'm going to do African threading on I'm using uh, Nasha Organics again. I'm using Nasha Organics Twist and Shine. This is basically whipped shea butter with some oils that uh, I'm going to use to uh, seal the moisture on my hair. And then I tie a knot there to make sure that the thread doesn't slip off my fingers when I'm uh, when I'm plating my hair. You guys have seen a video where I was stretching my hair using African threading and um, the method hasn't changed really it's basically the same so you haven't checked it out make sure you check it out because that's more detailed
can see the results now that's uh, my african threading my hair is much shorter as you can see but it's grown within the year that i last chopped it it is grown so yeah so i basically put it up like that As you can see, I don't plate my hairline. I leave my hairline out and then I'll just brush it on using an auto brush or this comb, this tiny comb. My plates as well are not very tight. I prefer to make them a little bit loose so that it doesn't stress out my hair. And those earrings are from Gems of a Natural and we now stock them at Natural Moisture. So do check them out, buy a pair or two, give them as a gift or change each and every time, like have a pair or two. So this is the next day and my head literally takes a day to dry. So yeah, I've got very low porosity hair. So it takes quite a while to dry. So I have to keep the African threading in for at least a day for my hair to really be dry. And then now I'm just going with a brush, with a detangling brush. I also use this on dry hair you guys it is so much better it's so much kinder i can now go in with a white tooth comb after i've actually brushed it can you see my hair it does need the trim like i haven't trimmed it in about three months so it does need the trim but my hair is growing you guys can you see like wow <laughs> Do you also use African threading to stretch your hair? If you do or you don't, whatever the case may be, please share with this tribe as far as um, taking care of your African hair so that we can thrive together. And um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your thumbs up. I appreciate your subscription. And I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you get a notification for each and every upload that I do on this channel. God bless you. Bye.